I'm sure you're well aware of the fact that there is a Hollywood actors and writers strike right now because the press says it's the most important movement of our time for some reason. There is a benefit to these strikes that movie studios don't really appreciate, and that's the fact that a lot of these actors can't go out and do damage to the products now. You don't really need these people to promote their stuff anymore, especially a Marvel movie, because nobody really cares about the actors. They care about the characters. That was another topic that's come up recently. Chris Evans agrees with Quentin Tarantino on that, and he's absolutely right. The actors don't put asses in seats for these movies. Uh, The characters do. But uh, you don't really need actors to promote stuff. One Piece is a really good example of that. That that show is a massive hit, and nobody attached to it is out there promoting it because they can't. Though I don't know what they would be out there seeing. Something tells me they'd probably be talking about their love of the source material if they were if they were to do that. Unlike Marvel talent, whenever they get a chance to do an interview, like Brie Larson, they run around talking about identity politics, particularly Brie Larson, who gets on her giant social justice soapbox anytime she's interviewed for anything that she does with Marvel. And she's admitted in the past that one of the reasons that she took this role was to have a platform to do advocacy. So make no mistake, it's not about the material for some of these people. But here's the thing. They can't do anything right now so they can't really damage the movie which is a good thing Uh, you could actually let the movie speak for itself instead of hearing about how Brie Larson doesn't like middle-aged white dudes (laughs) like she did with A Wrinkle in Time but don't worry someone's going to pick up that slack and that would be the director of the movie who is out there talking about how oppressed she is and uh, how she was surprised that she actually got respect from Marvel. Uh, She's been getting a lot of respect from these middle-aged white dudes. Whole interview here from Vanity Fair about how hard her life has been, despite, I believe, going to like a nice prestigious school as a kid and pretty much having uh, a lot of things given to her that other people will never see in their lives. But, yeah, she's lived a very, very hard life. A big director helming a huge movie uh, that is a big leg up for most people. Uh, So, uh, yeah, hard life indeed. She's out there talking about how uh, life's been hard, and she's so shocked by these middle-aged white dudes at Marvel. But she's done with Marvel, doesn't want anything to do with Marvel anymore which I do understand because she wants, she says she wants to go out there and build up her own world. And I actually think that that is a, a much better idea. Especially as comic book movies start dying out. But now it looks like she's going to say, hold my beer, Brie Larson. Don't worry. I got you. I'll go out there and be an advocate for social justice during the interviews for this. Cause she can still go out and, and do interviews and promote the movie. And I think she's going to make Brie Larson look like an amateur when it comes to doing damage to a movie. I don't understand why when you do these interviews like about a movie, you can't just, I don't know, talk about the movie and the world. That would probably be a better idea. But a lot of the time, even though she says she respects Kevin Feige in this, she talks about how all he did was interfere in her movie. Oh, and she also says that People that didn't like the first Captain Marvel are sexists that come from the darkest corners of the fandom. It's <laughs> so already attacking fans and stuff like that. Uh, it's it's just like, what are you doing? Why don't you talk about how you're uh, excited to show off a movie that has characters, well, at least two characters that comic book fans have always loved 
Uh, Miss Marvel, not so much. But Monica Rambeau definitely has a lot of people that love her. Uh, Carol Danvers used to have a lot of people that love her, but they've totally 180 this character into a feminist, like a feminist idol. It's kind of destroyed her. But I'm sure there's some people out there that still like her a little bit. Uh, but here's the big part that she, this is why she wants to leave. The Marvels is a Kevin Feige movie. It's a Kevin Feige production. It's his movie, she says. So I think you live in what in that reality. But I tried to go in with knowledge that some of you is going to take a back seat. And it looks like that's what led to her wanting to be done with Marvels, with Marvel, after the Marvels, and go do her own thing. Because there was probably a lot of studio interference with what she wanted to do which is probably a, in fact, it, it's a, it is a thing with Marvel productions. Uh, that most of it is done before you even get there to direct it. Uh, they even will do full action sequences without the director, I believe, sometimes. Like, they don't even touch that. Uh, most of it is already set in stone before they even touch it. doesn't really seem like it would be a very fulfilling uh, director job, like, you go in there and you want to do things and you have a vision and there's nothing you can really do. It's kind of so corporate mandated. And this is a big problem with Marvel in generals. Like it's also kind of pre-written with these formulas that they have that it just makes all of them feel so soulless. This is a Marvel problem in general, not really uh, a complaint to Nia DaCosta. This is more so the soulless nature of these Marvel productions now. And how they're so just manufactured. And make no mistake, they've always been manufactured, but it's more so to the point that it's it's gotten worse and they haven't really changed their formula much over the past. Like phase four, for example. Phase four was dog shit. And it looks like phase five is going to be a load of dog shit too. Uh, nothing that they've done since Endgame has been any good, in my opinion. Anyway, that's pretty much it. Let me know what you guys think. Are you excited about the Marvels? What do you think about it? Are you excited? Uh, you think it's going to be an amazing movie? Let me know in the comments. Also, if you would, please like, subscribe, share the video. Make sure you're still subscribed. Hit that notification bell. Check out my Rumble and Locals, and I will see you on the next one. Peace. Make sure to check out my Locals. There's a link in the description. It's a fun community that I'm trying to build over here. If you don't want to support me on YouTube... You can come over here. None of that money goes to YouTube. You also can just come over here for free. But if you are a supporter over here, I do plan on doing an extra live stream once a month and throwing links to the supporters so you can actually come on and have a supporter live stream with me. Also, it's a good place to catch all of my content. You don't have to worry about notifications like YouTube. They'll definitely work over here. So come check out my locals.